Hello, I'm OpenSource.com Community Moderator VM Rasur, and I'm bringing you this week's Top 5. This week we come to you from beautiful Melbourne, Australia, home of PyCon AU. This weekend, PyCon AU is hosting hundreds of Python aficionados and programmers for dozens and dozens of excellent sessions. Several of them have agreed to help out with the Top 5 this week, so grab a sausage roll, flat white, watch out for drop bears, and enjoy as PyCon AU attendees share with you the top five most popular articles at opensource.com this week. Number five this week comes to us from Nate Levesque, who brings us an overview of the current net neutrality debate, including the impact that losing net neutrality could have on free and open source software. And this week's fourth most popular article is a quick guide to types and functional programming by Kiko Fernandez Reyes. Kiko introduces the functional concepts of union, tagged unions, and algebraic datum types, and when you should use each type in your code. Coming in at number three, it's opensource.com community mo moderator John O'Bacon. He has the list of seven mistakes your open source project may be making right now. John shares how each of these mistakes can affect your project and what you can do to avoid or fix them. Opensource.com community moderator Don Watkins article Five Ways to Use a Raspberry Pi in the Classroom is the second most popular article of the week. Don not only provides tips for integrating Raspberry Pi in a classroom environment, he also shares a lot of links with instructions for how to get started. And coming in at number one this week, we have Open Source community moderator Scott Nesbitt. If you use Thunderbird for your email client on Linux, but are looking for something a little bit more lightweight, Scott has you covered. In this article, he reviews four different email clients, from IMAP-only Trojota to text-only Alpine. There's an email client out there for your every need. And that's it for the top five this week. Immense thanks to PyCon AU for helping out with the video. If you want to learn more about the conference, just check out PyConAU.org. Thanks, and we'll see you next week for another edition of Top 5.